The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 308 pounds, Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash made his WWE debut in 1993 when he served as Shawn Michaels' bodyguard. And all these years later, he's still one of sports entertainment's most physically imposing figures. We're just moments away from one-on-one -on -one action here. And approaching the ring from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rokishi. Listen to this arena. Well, if he didn't realize it before, he sure knows now this crowd can't stand him. They're absolutely showering him with booze. And it almost seems like he likes it. Welcome to another unforgettable night of WWE action. I'm Michael Cole alongside my broadcast partner, WWE Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And Michael, I can barely hear myself think. Would you listen to this crowd? Man, talk about an insatiable appetite for action. Oh yeah, the WWE Universe is gonna love this one. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. Great offense by Rikishi. Kevin Nash, a close to seven foot, 300 pound monster, is one of the most successful, influential, and controversial individuals this business has ever seen. He rose to fame as Diesel here in WWE and then founded the NWO faction during the Monday Night War as a member of WCW. Michael, I was with the company when Nash performed as Diesel and he was controversial then too. The Monday Night War was a time none of us will ever forget. And Nash also made headlines when he returned to WWE in 2002. First with the NWO and then wreaking havoc on his own. When you talk about Kevin Nash, we also cannot forget his jackknife powerbomb. Look out, he's got his sights set on that neck region. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. King, the career of Kevin Ash has been well documented from Diesel in the WWE Championship to the NWO and WCW to when he returned to WWE. Since 2002, Nash has had many returns. Each has been memorable. How can we forget this surprise return to the 2014 Royal Rumble and the response he got from the capacity crowd that night in Pittsburgh? Eight. Here we go, back inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still outside the ring, Cole. It's them, they're inside the ring. Boy, did he get dropped or what?
You know, Michael, you spoke initially about the career of Kevin Nash. And if you think about it, Nash has been involved in some of the biggest moments sports entertainment has ever seen for almost 20 years. I mean, whether you've liked Kevin Nash or wish he took a long walk off a short cliff, the shoulders are down. What a victory. What a match. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Here's your winner, Kevin Nash. Big win for him here tonight. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. As hard as it will be not to think about that amazing match we just saw, we must move on here, guys.